have some tea. So, this is my intro song. That's it. That's the intro. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here, and thank you so, 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 so much for loving my last video. I didn't know if people would like it, so it's really nice that y'all have just blown it up. So, it has now been, I'd say about like three months since I got that Beth Bunny collection, which you can see the try on all here. And I had originally planned to only do a month of working out, which I did. Every single day I worked out, I went to the gym, I went outside, I ran, I did weightlifting, I did treadmill walks, I did walks with the dog. I, I did all kinds of working out for a month just to do a stress test of Buff Bunny and see, do they really hold up? Now, since then, it has been three months and I have worn the outfits. I'll throw pictures all over the screen of the times I've worn these outfits because I genuinely love the product. I think they're so nice. And I think it's time we talk about what the stress test told. First and foremost, I think it's important to talk about the sports bra. It is beautiful, it is wonderful, but as you can see, it is no longer the white it was. Now this is my fault. I washed it on a day I didn't even really need to wash it, but I washed it with the other clothes and they were darker colors and I absolutely destroyed the color and I was crying and I was upset and me and my mom did all we could. We did put it in bleach. You're not supposed to put these in bleach. I put them in bleach and I will say the fabric isn't as nice. It doesn't feel as good to touch. It's not buttery smooth anymore. It's not white anymore. It's more of like a creamy, like an off white cream. I'm not mad about it. I mean, I am mad about it, but I'm mad at myself. Now, a couple things to note. I'm going to put this on so you can see. Here it is on, and I don't know if you can see that. Do you see that? The outline. The outline of the padding. It's like right here. When I move, you can see it. Uh, another thing, this is really nice. I like how long it is. I will say like bending over, as you can see, like here, if I sit, I'm gonna sit and do some weights. It does tend to like, see it bunches up a little bit. Just a little bit though. It's pretty good considering how long it does go. Like this much bunch up is not bad. I never really get it to be like that. Like that doesn't ever happen but just that little bit does occur. But just doing this, easy peasy. As for comfortability, I found that when I was walking or I was running in the sports bra, it held in really nicely. I didn't feel like I was in pain. I didn't feel like I was gonna fall out. And my breath was good. I didn't feel like I was having a hard time breathing or I was getting suffocated. Cause like sometimes you have to be like, <sighs> right? Cause you have to like take away. <laughs> the support and I didn't I didn't feel that with this and I think it's still really flattering though the color has changed I do think it's still a really flattering top I think the back looks good I think it's just I think it's a really nice top and it is my new favorite sports bra I find I don't really grab anything else for the beginning I was grabbing one of my old black Lulu bras but lately I've just kind of been grabbing this one and I'm not a big fan of thick straps Normally, I don't like the like <laughs> look of the thickness, but I like the way it tapers in. And I found I really was enjoying this look and I would even go without a shirt with this, which is also different from, so stress test wise, I would say this is a solid, um, probably a solid nine out of 10. I'm gonna take away a point because like I said, you can see the outline. I don't wanna fully take away too many points because of it. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Next up, we have the green leggings. I did find I gravitated towards these a lot. I didn't really have many things to wear with these because like I could wear this with say my purple sweater, but then I felt like I looked like a flower. You know, I really like like a flower. I still wore it because I like to look like a flower. For stress test purposes, I am now three months into wearing them. And as you can see, there is some pelling that's going on. There's no thinness happening yet. This is a pretty rough texture. I can feel it. I feel like if I had one of those devices that got rid of pelling, it'd be a lot better. I don't. I probably should get one. Now again, this is three months after. I found within the first three weeks of constant every single day use, 
is when I started to notice a little tiny bit, but it was like just a little bit, it wasn't bad. And like I said, I, I was using these items every single day and was really getting a stress test in them. And for three months out, not really having any thinning, like I said, the material's getting harder, getting like rougher and the pelling is there. But for three months of almost constant use of these items, that's pretty good. Especially as a bigger girl who has thighs that just, just create fires, you know? Those thighs are trying to create fires all the time. As for the wearing of them, let me put them on and then I'll talk about that. I have them on, as you can see, this is what they look like. I'm not the biggest fan on myself of this. I feel like maybe if I brought them down, I don't know what it is. I think for me personally, it's the thickness. Like I really enjoy the feeling, but I feel like if it was like thinner, like that, it would look a little better. I don't know. I actually don't know. I just have a hard time styling them because I feel like the peekaboo is cute but it's a little too high to have a peekaboo. But I think that's just a me issue with learning how to style these and figuring it all out. I still wear them all the time. I still allow the peekaboo because I do like it. I'm just not as in love with it as I thought I was at first. As for the legs, I will say, I'm gonna get up here. I will say like, I can feel the roughness right here. The roughness for me happens right here. Right, right where those thighs just, create a fire you know but they do hold up and they are nice i do like them i think they're nice i like the back i think the back is still really nice like i said i really love this accent i think this accent it's really really nice as for sweat i didn't find that the sweat was visible like these actually kept the sweat from being visible pretty good I don't really use the pockets for much besides just put my hand in like this. Uh, they did come in handy when I put a phone in. You are my phone. <laughs> like putting stuff in and they don't slip. Like stuff doesn't slip down because they angle so quickly. I find stuff doesn't slip, which I have had stuff in the past that had pockets like these and they just fell all the way down. So that's really nice. They do roll as you can see just by me moving around they do roll slightly down, but it is ever so slight. It's ever so slight. Just, and we're back. Which honestly, for workout leggings, that's kind of incredible. I don't know about you, but that's incredible to me. So I do really like these. I would highly recommend them. I think I would give them a, probably, probably an 8.5 out of 10 just because I am still experiencing the pelling and like I said right now I can feel it like I can feel the roughness the roughness is still there but I don't know if there's ever going to be a fabric or a thing <laughs> that could solve that for people who size who rub together I just I don't know I'm not somebody who makes leggings so I don't know but I feel like if it hasn't happened yet it's probably not something that's possible but compared to my Lulu pants which I did the same thing here I'll show you I got these Lulu shorts. I bought them and within about, I'd say three months, I already started to experience some tearing. As you can see, I've already done some patchwork on them because I'm somebody who will sew it up and make use of it. But I didn't experience any of that. I didn't have any of that. I do have roughness, but there's no holes. And I think I'd prefer roughness over holes. I prefer none of it but I don't know if that's possible, you know? Also, as for the buttery smoothness, I found that every single piece kind of lost some of its buttery smoothness. They still feel good, but they're not buttery anymore. However, just to like clarify, I used normal laundry detergent. I used normal settings on my laundry machine. I used fabric softener. I know it's a big no-no. I know it's a big no-no. I used, <laughs> Um, bounce sheets in my dryer and I would also tumble dry these so I don't take the best care in the washing and I feel like had I done the washing as per what they say it'd likely be better but I'm giving you an honest review as somebody who uses my pants the way I always do and I feel like the way most of us do most of us don't take care of our workout clothes like that we just don't now we have these ones these blue beauties I really like these ones. I thought I'd like the green with the V a lot better, but I think I'm just a navy blue gal. 
these are so cool now i didn't often get use out of the pocket it's just it's a small pocket with a hole in it oh i have some tea so they have a pocket and i just noticed because i don't use this pocket often i'm not gonna lie to you i don't have much of a fit in here but the inside of the pocket through constant wash is now coming off so that's a hole do you see that it's a hole in the pocket because the glue that was holding it together has been washed off good to know this is what they look like now they still feel really nice they're not buttery smooth but it's just because of the way i wash and take care of my leggings but they are nice these ones also experienced the wear and tear of having fire thighs which you can see these ones are feeling a bit rougher too they feel a little bit thinner but not really it's more just roughness not so much thinness i did a lot in these so these have held up really well it has been three months it's april i got these in december and i did my month my whole month was half of december to half of january so that was the month of me working out constantly every single day in them and then i have worked out and i have lived life <laughs> in these since then i'm gonna put them on and show you what they look like we have them on i will say it's not that they've stretched out but they're easier to put on but they haven't really stretched out because they do still feel the same they still hold up they haven't lost any of their grippiness which is really 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 nice so this is what they look like i kind of like this cut better on me i thought i liked the v because i am a pear shape but honestly i really do like this cut i think it's cute how they held up i find moving around they do roll down a bit i'd say these ones roll down more than the others but i think because the, the others already had the v down here the sides roll down and it's just more noticeable on these so they do roll a tiny bit but not that much right like realistically not that much so they are really nice that way i'll stand up on this <laughs> this is what they look like now i still really like them i think these look really good on me i'm just, i think these are my favorite leggings i like the v that goes here i really enjoy the back i don't know i just feel like these are a very flattering pant on me and i feel like i really love them I wear them a lot because they're just comfortable. I wear them to work out a lot, but I also just wear them a lot because they're just, they're just cute and they maintain saying cute and they still hold up. Also these ones, I find I don't feel the roughness as much. Like the roughness in the thighs, I don't feel it as much. Yeah, I don't feel it as much, but I don't know if it's because I wore a lot of the green in the beginning. I wore a lot more of the green and now that I've kind of transitioned into wearing more blues again. <laughs> I've, I've now started wearing more, the blue ones more. So it could just be that the other ones have had a little bit more wear. But I feel like I don't feel the, the blue thighs as much. They still hold up. They still feel the same up here as they did when I first got them. They're nice and tight, but not too tight. They formed my body and they don't roll that much, which is a huge plus. A huge plus I remember when I was on the machines and running and doing all this stuff I remember being like wow these aren't really rolling like these aren't really rolling and I thought I was gonna have to be pulling up all the time I just I feel like I could actually do my workout without worrying about where my pants are gonna be which is really big I think I'm gonna rate them a an 8.5 out of 10 because they still have the pelling which I'm not a big fan of, but again, I don't think that's anything that can be done, but I will continue to rate for that due to the fact that it needs to be resolved one day. So now on to the very last piece. The shorts I think I wore the most. I like to wear shorts and then put blankets over top of me. So I like to wear shorts over leggings when I'm in the house. So these have been a huge staple. I wear these all the time on stream. I use these all the time to work out. And I really, really love these. And the color is so flattering. It's so pretty. It's a color I've never used before. I really love it. Their pelling is happening. As you can see, 
the repelling is happening but it's happening with all of them this fabric also it's a little rougher but it's not as bad it's not as bad as the other ones and it's just i really like these they're not as soft but they're still almost softer than the other ones and i don't know why that is but they're a little softer they're not buttery but they're still soft like they're all they all hold a little bit of softness but they mostly feel more like they're softer than regular leggings, but they're not as soft as they were when they started. But I don't think you can ever expect anything to be. Let's try these on and see my other thoughts. So to start, this still happened, but I wasn't hating it as much because I do like that I do get that little bit of extra fabric there, especially considering most of the time I would be wearing my black shirt over top and it would cover it. And I did kind of like with that, it doesn't feel like it moves as much. Like if I do this, there, that's as much as they move. And this little flap keeps them up because if it wasn't there, they would have moved to there. But this little flap made it so they stay higher, which is kind of cool. And I don't know if it's intended. I don't know if that's part of the design, but I didn't hate it. Like I remember my, my try haul, I didn't like it, but actually I kind of loved this little flap when I was working out. It just made me feel more secure and more covered and just like more, I don't know, more, more covered, I guess. Now, as for the shorts, I love these shorts. These shorts I think are my favorite and that's really wild because I don't go for light colors or sh like light colors and shorts is the thing I'm learning to embrace outside of the house but these are so cute i wear them all the time so this is what they look like i also find they don't cut me off here like a lot of shorts i have i get like that line that like cuts it off these don't do that they just sit nicely i think they're very cute this is what the back looks like i just really like them like i said the bottom part I didn't realize, but I stopped using my Lululemon ones because they always cut off my my legs at the bottom. And I didn't like it. Always just kind of made me feel like a sausage casing. And these don't do that. Which I really like. Also, as for like, as for the fabric, like the roughness, I don't feel it at all in these. And these are the ones I've worn the most. Like, out of everything I have, I've worn these the most. And I think that is fascinating that I don't feel the rough fabric as much. Like it's almost worse in the leggings than it is in this. And I don't know why. I think I'm gonna rate these shorts a nine out of 10. I'm gonna rate them a nine out of 10 because there is pelling, but they're my favorite. They're my all time favorite and I love wearing them. Which brings us to this shirt. So this shirt is kind of incredible. It still feels really nice. Again, it's not buttery smooth, but it is still so smooth and so soft and so nice. I adore this shirt. I wear this shirt all the time. I wish it did taper in a bit more at the sleeves, but again, that's just like a style issue, like this one, right? Like I wish it did more of this, but that's fine that it doesn't. The back is beautiful, the open back. When I was running, I was really worried that with this, when I was running or doing stuff, that it would be like flying everywhere. And I'd feel like, I'd feel like the shirt was like coming loose at places and like moving around. It didn't, it stayed exactly where it was. It was perfect. It gave me enough wind that I didn't feel hot, but it also like stayed in place, which is magical. We'll show you what it looks like on, because I wear it two different ways. I think it's really versatile because you can wear it the normal way, this way with the front, or as I did, even at a family gathering, wear it this way. See a little peekaboo tummy. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I also, in my last video, I said I'd wear it with a bra, and I'll show you why I'm not the biggest fan of wearing it with a normal bra and what that looks like, or at least not without like a sweater over top. Okay, so this is what the top looks like. I will say it does gape right here which I think happened more so like over time and it doesn't it's not the most flattering actually now that I'm looking at it I was really loving this top but this does look weird but I don't know what would fix that I never noticed that 
I never noticed that, but I think it, I think it's just because there's like a little bit extra fabric. Like if the fabric was less, it wouldn't do it as much. Hmm. Okay. I'm just noticing that now for the first time. But this is what's like wearing a normal bra. As you can see, I can see it. I don't know if it's just because I'm wearing the wrong kind of bra, but I feel like it scoops down a little too low for you to wear a normal bra with this without it looking frumpy. I don't know, without looking a way I don't like. I will wear it like this, but I usually wear a sweater over top. Now this isn't my favorite wear to wear this. I like this when I feel like being more covered at the gym. However, I think this is a way cuter way to wear this top. I think it just fits nicely. It has that nice little V, and if you wear it with the green, it's a V and a V, which I do love. Again, you do see the bra quite a bit. Like it is quite a bit. It's a lot, but it's, I don't think you could ever solve that because I'd have to take my bra and move it like that. And at what point are you just not wearing a bra? That's just called not wearing a bra. <laughs> and this wouldn't be a style I wouldn't wear a bra with. This is my favorite way to wear the shirt. I think this is so much more flattering. It doesn't jet out the way it did at the front. So I like this. I think this is cute. It's really covering of the back, but then loosey in the front, which I really like. And with the sports bra, it works. So this is with the green pants. And as you can see, I kind of like the, the diamond, right? Isn't that cute? Like a nice little diamond? I don't know, I really like this. I think this is the cutest. And I tend to wear these together a lot. This video is just me changing over and over again, and my goodness. <sighs> and this is what it looks like with the, the um, sports bra, which is still really cute, because the neckline goes well with this and the peekaboo into this, it just looks really pretty. I like it, I think this is a good combo. Also, if I turn this around, it still looks really good. It still looks really good. Now there is still this like, jetting out, which I didn't notice, and I think that's just from a lot of wear, wear and tear. I don't know what that's from. Maybe I'm just not wearing it properly. Maybe it's just how my body knows, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about that though. And the back, the back is really cute. So this is like my favorite outfit. I think it just goes well really together, no matter which way you put it. It's just really cute. For the shirt, I think I'd rate it, now that I know about the jetting out, I think I'm gonna drop my point. I was gonna give it a 10 out of 10, but I think I'm gonna give it a 9.4 out of 10, just because of this. Or maybe 9.5, maybe a nine. I'm gonna give this a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine because this this is bad. Now, if I wear it like this, 10 out of 10. So do it that way you will. That is it. Those are all the clothes I wore. That was my stress test. I think I fell in love with Buff Bunny. If I'm being really honest, I think I fell in love with Buff Bunny. They are size inclusive. Their products hold up. Yes, there is pelling, but that happens to all of us plus size people. We will always, always, always have pelling and holes. And if not that, chafing. <laughs> and these products didn't produce holes. The fabric didn't get thin. It just pelled and got a little rougher. And some of them, not so rough. So I would highly recommend Buff Bunny. I think they're an incredible company. And again, if you'd like to work with me in the future, I wouldn't mind. But yes, <laughs> that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for liking this video and hanging out. If you'd love to leave me a comment, let me know what you liked, how you find Buff Bunny, what your favorite items are. I would love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to leave a like, click share. I know somehow we're gonna get there. And if you could subscribe and comment, that'd be awesome. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in next week's video. Until then, don't forget to check out my other videos. Bye y'all. <laughs>